I like to think that Brad Riff's reaction to reading Loomis' book was actually his reaction to reading the script. So, Michael Myers actually lifts a fucking car. Okay, Arnie can get away with that shit, but you can't, okay? That bit where the girlfriend, whose name I don't even remember, you know, the one with the glasses and the blonde hair. You know, first she has to run downstairs to get her cell phone. What? A young girl who actually leaves her cell phone for more than two seconds? I thought most young girls, you know, had them on them at all times, as if, you know, they depended on them to supply them with oxygen. And then she goes outside, you know, because... It's not like the killer could still be nearby. It's not like she just found a naked, bloody corpse. I've already talked a little about the idea that Lori can also see the fucking ghost and the, the younger version of Michael and the whole... Okay, so what? Is the insanity genetic? Does she see the white horse too? Did her mother get her a pony? Because I know a lot of young girls who would like a pony. I mean, okay, it's imaginary, and her mother is a ghost. Her older brother is a serial killer. But still, you know, you gotta make the most of it. Anyway, those were my thoughts on Halloween 2. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go lie down.